If you're looking to replace your aging printer, you will be amazed at what's available out there now. Not only are they about 30% cheaper to operate, they can actually print in 3D. Printers, a $147 billion business, churning out ever more paper. The paperless office is absolutely not a reality. We love the touch and feel of paper, and it is a great short-term medium. It's flexible, you can throw it in a, in a bag, you can fold it and put it in your pocket. It's not a great long-term medium. This is the latest HP printer. Just released in June, it's the result of $1.4 billion research. It's called Edgeline Technology. It's inkjet, not laser-based. HP says it can cut costs by 30%, while offering even more functions such as scanning, email, electronic storage of documents, faxing, and of course copying, but it can't quite fix itself. It's quite common that, um, that when a large device like this gets jammed, people will walk up to it and go, uh-oh, uh-oh, um, I'm going to let the next person fix that, and they walk away. HP spent a lot of time and effort to help users. If there's a fault, such as a paper jam, it's crucial to get it fixed quickly. This machine will play a video showing a user exactly how to correct the problem. Create full-color 3D models more quickly, easily, and affordably than ever, right in your office. Now this is a revolutionary kind of printing. It's ink jets, but with some other elements added, it allows the printer to build up a full 3D model. This example took four hours to print, clean it off, and put on a special sealant. The machine came out just a few months ago and carries a price tag of over $50,000. Imagine the world where you actually buy on the internet a diagram of a vase and you manufacture it in your own living room so that you can use it. That is what we're looking for with this technology. Rock Beausoleil has been fixing printers for over 20 years. The 3D printers have sparked his imagination and the new HP units, he says that's a breakthrough. It is a major step ahead. The reason is this technology is the beginning of the new evolution of a technology that will eventually replace the laser printer. It will take a while for the revolution to filter down to everyday consumers. In the meantime, from the depths of his printer graveyard, Beausoleil gets parts for older printers. He's convinced that in printers you get what you pay for. Quality and price are linked. He says that printer design now needs to be more environmentally friendly as consumers and governments demand products that can be recycled. On the hunt for a new printer, Derek Tupper is a little overwhelmed by the choices. For him, it will likely boil down to one issue. Costs now have really, really come down from originally what I looked at. Like the basic printer, you can get one for like 60, 70 bucks, is really cheap. Uh, I'm more in market, I think, for a laser. He knows that the ongoing cost of print cartridges and toner is a real issue to consider, and retailers say that consumers can help themselves by knowing what they want the printer to do. Even if you don't have an idea, the more you tell us on what you plan on doing or what you want to do, the better we can pick one out for you at least. The price of gas is at a